Here are the sounds that the IPA has. Consonants, vowels, and another kind of consonants. You may be asking, what do you mean another kind of consonants? Well, here are the pulmonic consonants, which means that you need your lungs to make the sound. The consonants here are pulmonic, and all vowels are pulmonic. Well, just like a history class being a very amerocentric when it comes to history from the past 400 years, your views on languages and phonetics are probably very English-centric. The consonants here are ones that you probably didn't even know are consonants. Then again, most people wouldn't assume that this sound is a consonant. Non-pulmonic consonants are just that. You don't need your lungs to make the sound. Well, let's take a look at them. Here on the left, we have clicks. You obstruct airflow, which technically makes them obstruents, that are articulated with two points of contact in the mouth. One forward, one in the back. The pocket of air is then rarefied, this word isn't that important, by the sucking action of the tongue. The closure is then released. Here in the middle, there are voiced implosives. Implosives are a kind of plosive with a mix of air stream flowing inward through the mouth or nose coming from the glottis, which is called a glottic ingressive, and an air stream being created by pushing air through the mouth or nose from the lungs called a pulmonic egressive. Basically, the airstream is controlled by moving the glottis downward along with expelling air from the lungs. At least you know what these technical words mean now. On the right, we have ejectives. Ejectives are typically voiceless consonants that are made using a glottic aggressive airstream. Remember the pulmonic aggressive? It's the same thing, but it comes from your glottis instead of your lungs. A lot of terms used for the pulmonic consonants can be used here. The only new things are palatal alveolar and dental alveolar. Palatal alveolar consonants are post-alveolar consonants, mostly sibilants, that are weakly palatalized with a domed tongue. So, as the name suggests, a mix of palatal and alveolar consonants. Dental alveolar consonants are consonants that are articulated with a flat tongue against the alveolar ridge and the upper teeth. The rest are familiar terms. Now all that's left is the sounds, so here they are. Ah, 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 ah. Ba, a ba, da, a da, ya, a ya, ga, a ga, la, a la, a, 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 a. In the next video in this series, I'll talk about diacritics. Look, two videos in one week. Nice. It's winter break, so I'll probably be making a video soon. I have a few non-linguistics videos coming up. I want to be an educational channel, not specifically a linguistics channel. Anyways, I need a catchphrase.